Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Kozlov joins us live from our Bureau in Sussex. And Evan, he can uh, proudly claim that he is a member officially now of the police force. That's right. And for as long as he can remember, he's always wanted to be a police officer. From the badge and the jacket to, of course, the camaraderie, he always wanted it. And now he has it. And with a little help from the Georgetown Police Department, he shows that nothing, not even a terminal illness, can stop him from reaching his goal. Take that on. Seven-year-old Grayson Hitchens puts on a brand new police jacket. And this is no ordinary jacket, but after all, this is not your ordinary kid. The new badge makes him private first class in the police department. It's pretty cool to be part of the team. And this team is getting one strong officer. Grayson has an inoperable brain tumor and has been battling the illness for more than two years. We go to the hospital like every six months or so. We go there a lot. But these hospital trips have not stopped his spirit. He's always wanted to be a police officer, and now his dream is coming true. He's in a fight for his life, and to see a child fight that hard, it makes our lives seem pretty simple. Grayson's mom says her son gives her hope. Grayson's amazing. He's a trooper. Um, these kids go through more than any kid should. Um, he's been through tests and pokes and prods and surgery, um, and it just... He inspires me, he inspires most everybody that knows him. Claiming. At the ceremony, the mayor also declared today Grayson Hitchens Day in the town of Georgetown. But for Grayson, it's less about himself and more about the badge. You ever going to take it off? No. A brave young man <laughs> and the newest face to the department he loves. Now the Georgetown officers really call him a true inspiration, as do I. And you know, with that promotion, he actually outranks many of the officers in that room, but they say that their superior deserves all the respect in the world. Reporting live from the newsroom, Evan Kozlov, WBOC News, back to you. Good story, Evan. Thank you.